no snow yet. Get this a little more level. Maybe this hit rocks about that. Be. Hoping so, anyway. I just should have hooked this up first. on here in a few minutes. Y'all like it closer or further away? They can hear me. <laughs> what am I typing? <laughs> Let me finish this. All right. Yeah. JP, I'm going to 
No, it's average early 20s. Get some peanuts ready to go here in a few minutes. No, Baltimore. Take a pot of over there and fill it up with water. That's my Dutch oven. If they do get down to freezing, then I'll put my seasonings in it. And I'll let it heat up with my seasoning first. Whatever I choose, it may be fish seasoning, it could be chili seasoning, it could be Cajun. I'll just put whatever I think I want and some garlic powder. I love garlic. And then when I boil them, it will be to the point of I will boil them before they get too soft, where they get soggy, I'll stop. And that way, when you get them out of your jar or whatever, you just pour the water off of them, and they don't get slimy. You can pour the water off of them and tire them things up, man. And they ain't slimy like oysters or something, man. Yeah. Did you hear me? Make sure they hear me. That's why I like to tap. Then I turn the weather down. I, I need to go back to some. I gotta find another remote. I'm gonna be in here some and then I'm gonna be away. So if y'all think it's something to say, just put it on there and then I'll uh, be able to comment or answer the comments pretty quick. It's not too busy tonight yet. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do some stuff. I'll comment, you want the light on or off? Fire looks more relaxing with the light off, I think. I'm burning small wood right now. It's, uh, 37 right now, raining, and supposed to get down to freezing sometime during the middle of the night, change over to snow. So I'm hoping we'll get about 40 inches of snow. Right now, watching all the different weather, man, it can be zero to 70. <laughs> so, or can y'all hear me? I walked away. Can you still hear me? Closer to it. It's 37 degrees right now. Okay, good. I wish it was freezing. I'd like to have 40 inches of snow. We got the sleds ready. We got them little plastic things ready. On the longer hills, I like the sleds because you can actually control them better. But on them short hills, them little plastic things, man. They scooch you down through there. And if we get some snow, y'all get ready. We'll have some snow video. We might go live on that too. Did y'all decide if the fireplace looks better with the light on or the light off? Oop, wrong light. <laughs> wrong light, man. <laughs> Getting ready to throw some more wood on there and get a little bit more blaze going. Why does that look so bright? I turned that light off. Oh, I'm somehow I got paused. Right, here we go. All right, so let me go get some wood put on there. I'll be right back. This is cool. I like having seen. The pot don't have anything in it yet. I'll uh, I'll turn on the backlight somewhere in a minute. I'm gonna go get some wood right now. Yeah,
There's a little thing. I get these planks from a friend of mine up on the hill. He builds kids. These are the planks he uses and the scrap he puts over the fence. They're still green. But the firewood I have now is about two and a half, three years old. And I like to smell the green oak burning when I go outside. So every now and then I stick one of these in here with the other wood. up in a few minutes. I'm going to go get some water in my pot. Built that little rack. Uh, hold on a minute. Let's see if I can get up where you sit. Put the light back on a minute. That little rack there built that. Cook all, cook all in the fireplace. And I just set it up in here. Like that. So I'm using the star to heat my water. So, we're getting started anyway, guys. And peanuts, man. I love them bowl peanuts. Now, I'm going to find a... Okay. Let me see the fire again. See the pot now and the fire and everything? It's pretty cool, man. I've got friends with me. Do y'all get to enjoy the, I don't know what's the word you call it, uh, the enjoyment of watching a fire burn without having to carry the wood. I'm going to do all that for you. And boil peanuts. Now, I've apparently loaned one of my Dutch ovens to somebody. I couldn't find it, so I want to put a pot of beans on two. So I'm gonna make some homemade chili tomorrow. See how that goes. Yeah, now, y'all see this last post here? From B, what's that post mean? I don't know. I don't know how to delete the comment. Don't know if it's some kind of spam. I've seen some live channels talk about bots and they get in uh, administrators to get rid of the bots. I'm going to remove. I don't know whether this is a good guy or not. I'm going to talk to him. may not understand what I mean with that B. We'll give it a minute to see. I know he's not on there and bad mouth or none of that, so I'm not sure. Uh, I'll find out. 
Maybe he'll answer us back and we'll know who he is. If he can speak English. True, Kells, I agree with you on that. I don't know how that happened, but that's pretty cool, man. <laughs> okay. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going over here to search for seasonings. I call it potluck, whatever mood I'm in when I see it. Okay, I don't know what I did just then. I don't know how somebody comment again. Let me see if I got to do that on all the comments or something. Not trying to hide cows, but I don't know how this works. I might hit the wrong button. All right, I did find. I don't know if y'all can read that, but I did find some coarse sea salt. I'm going to use that. Cool, JP. I see yours and it didn't have that option on it. I, Kells may know what to tell me on this situation. Uh, all right, anyway, I got the sea salt. We're going to put that up here. And it appears my wife has moved all of her seasonings, so I've got to go find them again. I'll be back. I got some seasonings here. One of them is taco seasoning mix. I love tacos. Here's the garlic powder. Gonna put some of that in there. I like paprika. I think that's what she puts on them deviled eggs. But I don't know if it'd go well with peanuts. 
What do y'all think? Then here's some roasted garlic and herbs seasoning. I guess I'll throw a little bit of that in there. And then I got an ancient Greek formula here. It's called Cavender's All-Purpose Greek Seasoning. I think I'll hit some of that in there. And then one of my other favorites, catfish seasoning. That may be a lot, too many of all of them at the same time, so I'm going to decide. What do y'all think? How many seasonings should I add? I just wish I could hear y'all. Hey, we could all get on the Discord app. Ah, oh, yeah, that might be an idea. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Cook fast on the fire because it's already steaming. I got bubbles in it. I get my seasons all mixed up. I got my handle. Let me turn this around. Get my handle out of the way. Wrong way. Take several hours to actually boil them to the to how I like them, uh, but if I end up sometimes if I go to bed, I'll just leave them sitting in there by them coals, and then get up the next morning and build a fire and get them to my liking. But I don't like them real slimy. I like them a little soft, but not slimy. Okay, I'll be back in a minute, guys. I'm gonna go see if I see some deer outside. If I do, I'll come back and get y'all. Let y'all see them with me. Dog walk. We'll 
be right back. Let her get out and stretch her legs.
Well, are y'all liking the fire? Do I need to zoom in on it? I think you can zoom in while watching a fire. Let me go see. How's that look? Is that better, worse? I turned the light on back over yonder in the kitchen, but it ain't making it too here. shells are empty. Around here, you got to do that because they don't have a clue what's going to happen. And mostly people around here were alive during the blizzard of 93 when at 10 o'clock that morning they were saying there wasn't going to be no snow. And then at 12 o'clock, I was at work and happened to look out the door in Chattanooga there's about three inches of snow on the ground. I had a Jeep, CJ5, headers, rag top. Man, that thing gave me a headache. But it was a 30 mile drive to where I work. I was young then. Anyway, I got in that Jeep and took off. Got on 27 there in downtown Chattanooga. Went about 200 yards and all the traffic was stopped. And I ended up sitting there for about two hours, so I cut my battery out, I mean my Jeep off. Well, the traffic got moved up some. When I went and started, it wouldn't start. I managed to get out and push it and get it turned where it was blocking two lanes. So then, that three guys behind me there got out and pushed me, got me jump started. And once I got that thing started, I come home. I didn't stop nowhere. I was going through the shoulder. I was getting over on the edge of the media. I wasn't going to stop again. Made it home. We ended up with about 15 inches of snow, heavy winds. You name it. It was a mess. But we don't trust weathermen down here no more in the south. <laughs> Which I understand their problems. We're kind of in an area that it, 50 miles can make all the difference in the world. So I can see why they can't get it, you know, 100%. But uh, this new forecast just keeps changing and changing. And then they'll say one to three inches, and they'll say three to six. And then a while ago, they come on, could say it could be seven to ten. So we get our bread and milk and whatever because we live up on a mountain and there are a lot of people here who try to maneuver that stuff with bald tires and they just make a mess of the road. I used to, when I was younger, I used to pull them all out. I'd run up down the road with a Jeep and a chain and I had buckshot mudders with stud, metal studs in them. Yeah, I just weave in and out of them, hook to them, pull them up, pull them out of the road or whatever, but I'm a little bit too old for that now. Still a little blurry, I wonder why. Maybe because there is no light on it. Uh, 
Uh, they're doing something. I must have touched it. I'll have to try it again in a minute. Let's see here. Uh oh. Wife just sent me a screenshot where the manager of a Cracker Barrel was shot. Somebody tried to steal a woman's purse. And he tried to stop it, apparently. What did I do with that? Harris County, Texas. I don't know how old this article is. I can see in front of me, behind me, but anyway, actually the manager died. No oh my, that's never a good thing. I'm going to try something. <laughs> I'm going to see if this will work. I'll see if y'all can see this. I don't know. I have a clue in the world what that deer is doing. It looks like to me it ain't got no front legs. It's got his head up a against the tree. I don't know if they're trying to climb a tree or ran into it or what. That's one of my trail cam picks at 4.45 this morning. Can you, I hope y'all can see that good. But anyway, well, let's see. There's another one. But anyway, they're having fun down there in the wheat fields every day now. Got all of these pictures today down in the corner between two of my tree stands. Trying to get where y'all can see it all. Then here comes a neighbor's dog. That's aggravating. Right where the deer were earlier. And that poor little dog, it couldn't run a deer down if it had to. It's old, short-legged, but he don't give up. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a kangaroo, don't it? <laughs> oh my, I didn't think about that. Yeah, it does look like a kangaroo. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on with the peanut water. Yeah, 
that pan to get a little hot now. Probably quite hot. Well, the handle's not hot yet. Oh, yeah, she's ready for seasoning. I'm going to carry over here to the sink and mix my seasonings in it. Did you pick your favorites? Put some more wood on there. We're gonna put probably just a little. I don't know what I'm gonna put in there. I need my phone to be a little mobile, but I took my mount that'll hold a cell phone mounted it on a tripod for the fireplace. So I'm gonna let y'all watch fireplace while I put probably around. Three tablespoons of each seasoning and probably five of the sea salt. You need a little salt in there to help preserve them. The recipes, most recipes call for like two cups of salt, man. I can't handle that much salt anymore. <laughs> I like these Hampton, Hampton Farm peanuts and I like those bags they got the seal you can tear open like you do a feed sack cool Park. I like to put my peanuts in a strainer and rinse them down real good before I 
put them in my pan. Unless we got any dirt or anything on them, we'll clean them all. Hamptons are usually pretty clean nuts anyway, but better safe than sorry. Seesaw. <laughs> I left that out. I hit it up there. Let's see. Can y'all see them peanuts in there? Oh man. And that water tastes awesome. So these nuts are gonna be great. Then you sit here and throw your shells in the fireplace. Almost like me in Texas Roadhouse. If I throw them in the floor, the wife get mad at me. Mm. Them are good. Raw even. Cool. Gotta get some wood. Six 
I have cows if you come up here with us. Hopefully, well, we don't know what we're going to get. We are on our winter storm warning. I'm watching the uh, Weather Nation now to see uh, what they're saying. But i got to find Ryan Hall, y'all, on YouTube. He does a real good job. This is his test this week. Because I don't think he's not saying a whole lot. I think he's not sure yet. I did vacuum the house today for the while. And I, uh, let's see. I'm back to where I can read the chat now. Yeah, you got to be careful on the raw ones. It takes uh, a while to get where you need a bunch of them at one time. <laughs> now, in an hour or two, I'll be sampling those over there and just getting that flavor as it gets stronger and stronger and stronger in them. And oh man, they'll be good. Oh my. Let's see. I've got my phone in that mount and I, the mount blocks the center of the screen. I'm gonna try, it might shake a little bit. I'm gonna move it over where I can see it. My wife bought those, that dough laying down there. Why is this thing turning? And she got that big old buck there, it's about them for me. And she's gonna paint them. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. I just have to be careful as I'm going out of the house in the morning with my deer rifle. <laughs> we won't shoot one of them. Are y'all okay? Please get you some flames.
See if I found Ryan Holly. I'll see if he can give me any updates. This is the test to see who's, which most of them are just saying, you know, whatever. <laughs> but to find the ones that go out and say it and get it. And this is the one you can choose to watch. Boy, peanuts. You know, go on to that steam starts coming out under that heavy lid. It's like pressure cooking them. Thank you. 
Go outside a few minutes. Get hot. I'm gonna have to open the window. Y'all getting warm now? Is that helping you get warmer? Which down in Texas, I don't know what is the temperature down in Texas. What's the Texas? I mean. What's the temperature up there where you're at, JP? Steering my peanut up to get that seed and floating around again. You gotta have a lot.
35 in Texas right now. I'm supposed to get it to 31. And it have a 20 mile an hour gust. JP's 27, man. If he had this moisture up there, he'd be getting the good snow right now. Yeah. We're still 37 here. Got my camera a little crooked again. Let's see. Uh oh. Kind of like you're hanging on more robots. You'd have to keep it all organized. Looking neat. 25 fire wings in Texas. I was looking, watching it on this other phone and I thought my camera here was blurry. The one on the one that's doing the live right now. I thought it was, when I looked here, it was blurry. But over on that camera, it was good and clear. This is my old Galaxy S9. grocery pickup last night, put some dog food on there and they didn't have none. So they're having to ship it to me. But they're shipping it to the house so I don't even have to go get it. Pot whistling, or is that the wood whistling?
Two inches of rain would be 20 inches of snow. We're going to miss. Plus, how, how much rain we had today? Oh, man. Two tenths? from uh, Ryan Hall yet. Yeah. See if they can hear that. <clears throat> can y'all hear that pot starting to whistle? Or steam? Oh yeah, I see the steam coming out of it now. It's gonna get hot. I'm gonna have to slide that over to the side. We get too hot. Could do my pinto beans and soak them for 24 hours, but I never, I'm too impatient to do that. Chat on there, but it's if you ain't careful, you hit the wrong button, you lose the screen, and everything else. So I use my second phone. Oh, you know, I get to see what they're seeing, plus, I get to chat with them. Have a smell of smoke if you have a smell.
Well, our winds are out of the south, and it's only 37, so there's not a whole lot of heat coming up out of the south now. Better for our snow, I hope.
no deer to video yet or to show y'all. They may be a little late because they fed up a lot today. They feel these fronts coming through and they'll go fill that belly up and then go lay down for as long as they can. Keep hoping that wind is going to start out of the north. Well, I think it's low. It's come up higher than they thought it would. They actually thought the center of circulation was going to stay south of here. Let's go with air moving faster, but it didn't do it. And it's bringing up a lot of heat with the moisture. And I love snow. I like to get out there and have fun in it. Got my all my batteries charged for my heated vest. I got all my hand warmers and stuff in my hunting bag. I got my rocky boots. And so I'm ready. I vacuumed the house, got all the dishes in the dishwasher, got the kitchen cleaned up, all for my lovely wife. She's working a mid today. So, she loves snow too. I'm hoping that we get snow before she has to go to work tomorrow. So, I don't want to get, to, if it did six or eight inches and she was at work. That would be rough. I'd have to go get her once the traffic got out of the way. Time for some more cold tea. Let me see if I can get the camera where we all can see in that pot when I open it up.
I'm sorry, why is this other one not keeping up with the chats? I see where you said you had never heard a catfish season. Oh, man. I love it. It's good. Mix it in your batter. I'm fixing to do something. Let me see. Let me jack it up. Lock it down. Let me go over here. There we go. Now, let's see if y'all can see in the pot. I'm not getting over here, May, so I can see. Make sure I ain't blocking y'all. I'm behind. Getting waterlogged now. They're not floating high as they were. Oh, I'm sorry. They are starting to darken. I can't resist. I've got to stir it up good, which when it's boiling, it stays pretty stirred. But I need to find a couple of this crap. Nah, we get some any. Time I get some cooking, I'll eat half a pint. My grandson got me this mug. So I'm proud of it. But I usually set it up on the mantle when I'm not drinking coffee. 
and I'll put my spoon in it. Y'all okay? I've got an electric fireplace in my camper. It does it heats? It's pretty, but it just ain't real. I love a real fireplace. spoon here. I've got to taste that. I call it broth, but I've got to get a taste of that, man. A little bit of it has gotten into the nuts, but not much yet. pressure cooker but you gotta be real careful all that stuff will break off up there and it'll stop out you stop up your exhaust hose this is gonna be hot oh it smells good oh man whoo sea salt strong <laughs> hmm I might have Take the lid off and pull some of that out. Put some more water in it. Ooh, good night. Usually about four hours will do it. Uh, that sea salt is really strong in there, so I may have to let a lot of that boil out and uh, 
is even put some more water in there, and by then I'll know how the nuts are going to taste. So. But now, what I'll do when I get ready to go do something else and go to bed, I'll just set them over down there in the bottom of the fireplace and uh, just let them sit in there and simmer, you know, until I decide. Oh man, that's too loud. I'm hearing it twice. I'm trying to see what I sound like. But anyway, uh, yeah, it'll get cold in there. This fireplace ain't heating you up. <laughs> I appreciate y'all watching. Watch as long as you want to, and if you, ain't, if you can't come over, that's fine too. I'm just trying to get comfortable with speaking on live. It's coming up on fishing season again, and That's better than an app. An app does the same thing, it just loops. And this live, you get to see all kinds of different flames and pieces of wood falling and hot coals and all kinds of cool stuff. Slow up bowling down a little bit.
This is pretty cool. I like this live streaming. You can do it on GoPro.com too, but you have to share the link somehow. I haven't figured all that out yet. I'm just no country boy. He pedals with it. If I ever decide to really find out, then I'll go find out. But I do so many other things. I kind of hold back on that for now. I'm going to try to do some live catfishing, live crappie, live bass fishing. As soon as it gets a little warmer, I don't care about getting out there and it's real cold and wet. Back when I was young, I used to commercial fish. It'd be 14, 15 degrees. Go up there and throw my weight in the water and he'd hit the water and when the water splash up, he'd hit you and it'd be ice. Just like frozen pellets. Just that if I had to every once in a while run the boat kind of fast to let the water come up on the sides and melt the ice off of the water line. But that was back in the day. I wonder what this little arrow on here is for. There's a little blue circle with an arrow on it. I wonder if I touch it. If I lose y'all, I'll be right back. I just gotta see what that is. Oh, cool, that's the chat. Nice. Let's see if it stays on. No, it goes back off. I've noticed a lot of YouTubers have a problem with that. That's why I got two phones. But if I'm away from them, I be be slow on replying back. Fire popping. Cool. I have the volume turned right down to low on this phone.
<laughs> Man, you can zoom, can't you? That's what I like about these. The GoPro, you can't zoom like that. <laughs> All right. That's pretty cool. That looks a lot better, don't it? What you think? That looks better, don't it? See the flames clearer and everything now. Cool. I like it. I was going to let this run. I like it. But when I do a live, it puts it in the archive, but it listed as private. Then I can go in there and change that to public, and then people can come back and view it later. So I'm going to do that with this one. I don't do all my lives publicly yet, some of them, but. There she goes. She's cracking and popping now. Deer show up. I'll go let you see them. Now, what else can I do for the wife before she gets home? It's gonna be nice and warm. I think she says she's gonna make some homemade tacos tonight. So I'm not gonna really cook anything other than the peanuts. I love them peanuts. Checking out my Facebook right now. See if I've got any important messages. south when it snows it's rare sort of like a northern school winning a football championship <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> here's another one don't expect me to stop if you're broken down by the side of the road you were offered an extended car warranty several times <laughs> Several, heck, man, several hundred a year.
it looks like the tick is going to get some snow. Everybody's waiting on that snow to start, like me. So we don't get a whole lot of good ones here. But when we do, we can look forward to it. This is my Samsung smartwatch. It keeps up with my pulse. My last pulse was 68 beats. It's also Bluetooth to my phone, but if I'm too far away from the phone, it'll work as a phone. So I can get my calls whether I have my actual phone with me or not. And that keeps me from having to fight with the phone when I'm out in the boat trying to catch fish and take a chance of throwing my phone in the water. So this is a, it's a Samsung Galaxy 3 smartwatch. It does EKGs or ECG. That little squiggly line there is your EKG. You just click on it. Then you go up here and hit OK. You can't do it if you're moving. I'm going to try it. Oh, I pushed the button too hard. Whoa. Yeah, I'm moving too much. If you move, it messes it up. But anyway, then it'll put that information, stores it on your phone so you can keep up with the charts. It mainly just looks for atrial fibrillation, which is a, the most common cause of heart attacks. Uh, I have another one that checks three of the six things, and if you pay, I think, $9 a month, it will monitor six of the leads, as they call them. <coughs> but <coughs> since I had my gallbladder removed, man, I cannot believe how great my blood pressure has been. All them years, I mean, even going to the, one time I had a triple bypass. Next day or two when I woke up, I said, hey, I asked the doctor, I said, I don't have to take blood pressure medicine no, do it, no more, do it. Yeah, you'll have to stay on it the rest of your life. I was constantly still fighting high blood pressure. Running back to the emergency room. Wife would panic. I'm taking you, you need to go. She'd make me go several times. I get, finally, I go to the gallbladder doctor and say, man, take this thing out. Because they had done told me it was only functioning 16%. But they said it didn't need to come out, so I went back. And the day I went back to get them to schedule taking it out, my blood pressure was 210 over 110. And the doctor said, you need to go over to the emergency room. I said, I'm going when I get through here. Just to satisfy my wife, I said, I'm not having a heart attack. I said, I have indigestion and heartburn really bad. And when I do that, it hurts. So I went on down to the emergency room, told him, said, I know I'm not having a heart, heart attack, but go ahead and check my troponin levels, do the EKG and all that to assure her. And I wasn't. So they finally got my gallbladder out, and my goodness, it's been perfect. All them years of suffering because of a gallbladder. I've been able to hunt my tree stands, Walk all the way down to the back of my property. Walk all the way back up. 
walk all over the place, was able to fish all summer. I mean, even in the 95 degree days, I could stay out there all day. And that's the first I've been able to do that in years. So if you ever have problems and you don't feel good, go get that thing checked. Can y'all hear me? I'm gonna try that on the chat box while I'm, it just keeps going out. I wonder if there's any way to make it stay on. Cause I really don't have to uh, have them if I want to see them. And I keep forgetting that I can talk <laughs> through here. I keep wanting to be able to type chat back, type comments back. <laughs> Let's see. I gotta get me another one of these phone mounts for these phones to wear on my GoPro harness so I can carry y'all around with me and you can see what I'm seeing out in front of me. I can pop it out of here and pop it back in my harness and I may do that in a few minutes. Do a little walk around, see what's going on. It's hot for under fire. keeping up in real time with the nuts, which I just cook the taste anyway and feel. I don't really do worry too much about time you tell by looking at them when they all sink, they're all a dark color, and it's time to start sampling. Can't wait for that. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn the light on and take another check. Well, I made my gloves. Cool, thank you. Appreciate it. Let's see what our nuts look like in here. I've got a notification. It might be from my trail cam. Might have some deer TV happening. Are the deer out there? You can kind of see them. There are all kinds of recipes for cooking these boiled peanuts. What I do after I cook them, I put them in pint jars, mason jars, and I process them for 35 minutes in a pressure cooker. And I did some four years ago that I just opened a couple of days ago. I think it's on my channel. And man, them nuts were still perfect. I've never let any go that long, but I did hide two jars to see how it would be in four years or five. I only made it four, <laughs> but they were great, man. They didn't make us sick or nothing. Tasted real good.
add some water. Kind of got one border right in the middle. If you cool cast iron off too fast, it'll crack. So you don't want to pour it on the sides. Set that up there. And I like to take my peanuts when I get done. When I get ready to eat some, I'll separate them out from the liquid, bust them open, shell a bunch of them out, put them on my saucer, and then just eat nuts. You get addicted to that, peeling one open. Throwing them in your mouth, <laughs> then you just can't get them fast enough. So I've got a little bit more patient where I get through them, shelling them first, then I just eat, eat, eat. I can do that. Yeah, I'll go back and do that. Uh, Let's see. Uh, let me see if I can change it when the other bottom now. That's a good idea. I need good idea people. Let's see. I wonder if I can do it from a different phone. All my phones are the same IP address, so they're all connected to my account. That sounds like my wife. Can't even get there. Okay, I'll have to do it. I'll have to do it when I lift it back public. Hello? All right, guys, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to leave this going. Enjoy the fire, the cracking and the popping. I love to hear it. And we'll check on the nuts in a few minutes. My lovely wife is on the phone now, so I'm going to go be real nice to her where I can sleep in the house tonight in case it snows. Did you hear that?
You want to call the racer and then call me when you get through to Walmart? Well, I had some visitors on trail camera a while ago. 6.44 my time with the central. Two possums. One of them's really dark. Well... I guess that's cool. I don't understand why that one is so dark. Man. I first thought it was a raccoon. That must be all of them. Yeah. That dark color one looks weird, man. <laughs> 
That looks like a flying saucer. Wow. No deer yet. My wife has decided she's going to cook hamburgers when she gets home. I don't normally cook a whole lot anymore because she changes her mind continuously about what she wants. Now, if she'll lay something out and tell me what she wants, I'll cook it. Sometimes I'll go off and just go ahead and cook homemade chili, chicken and dumplings, pinto beans and boiled potatoes. Oh, man. Stuff like that. But most of the time, I just, I learned years ago, tell her to pick. And if she don't, like when we's in town or something, well, I'd like to go eat somewhere. I said, well, where you want to go? She said, I don't matter to me, you pick. I said, I ain't picking. You pick. And a couple of times after she never picked, so I just drove on home. She learned the lesson, that's pretty much picks. <laughs> Me, I don't care. Every, anywhere you go, I'll find something that I'll eat. <sighs> Who always with me? Say hello. Might be time for another piece of that old dead wood and a piece of that green wood in there. That green wood gets to burning and it gets hot. I need to put my gloves on when I do that. Sometimes I get black stuff all over my hands. I don't know if y'all can see that. And, yeah, see right there. Probably got my backlight turned down. I usually keep my backlights turned down low because I stay on my phone doing something all day long. Keeping up with Discord, make sure ain't nobody on there needing me.
I'm gonna take us on a tour here in a minute. Do a little walk outside. And see if I can tell. Oh yeah. So the phone charged up from 40% all the way to 100 while it was on live. So that's pretty cool. I got a YOLO stick in my boat. It plugs into where your anchor light goes and it has power ports on it that you can plug your cameras up so that you'd be able to run you a live video all day on a fishing trip. Some days you can run it all day and be lucky to catch a fish. Other days you can run it for two hours, not catch nothing. Turn it off, and all of a sudden, bam, 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 start catching fish. Then by the time you get to where you can turn it back on, they quit biting again. <laughs> I'm dry my hands on them paper towels and I sewed that back there and it covered up the plane. Smelling good now. Smelling real good. Oh man. Won't be long be time to sample them again. I know a lot of people don't like to eat them because they get slimy, but I don't cook mine that long. GoPro chest mount on. That's a pretty neat little deal. Use your hands free. I guess I need to turn the light on show that to y'all. I'm pretty sure I Anyhow, you stick your little I forget what they call them. Got a little thing slides down in here and then you hook your camera to it. I'm putting it on and getting ready to take y'all outside. And if we start getting snow, I'm going to go live again. If y'all want to watch it snow. And I may be cooking homemade chili by then. Chicken and dumpling, who knows. But I'll definitely cook something in the fireplace. I put that fireplace, I built this house in 93 when me and my wife built it. With none of our family help. I would just come up here, sit around and talk. Stuff like that. I had a, my uncle, one of my uncles, my brother, and two of my cousins come up one day wanting to sit around and talk. And I tell us, little boys, I gotta get this house built. I ain't got time to sit here and talk. One of them started laughing and said, well, we figured you'd have it built by now. And I said, well, I did too, but I actually figured you guys would help. I said, y'all didn't, and that's fine. You know, I still love y'all and everything. Y'all still family and all that. And if you don't want to help, that's fine. I said, but if you ever get ready to build a house, don't come hollering at me. <laughs> and uh, I went on and told him, I said, you know, there ain't none of y'all sitting here can call yourself a man when you knew that she was having to help me carry them 30 foot long trusses from 100 feet where the, as far as the truck could get and drop the trusses and it got muddy. And y'all let her have to help me carry them all the way down there and put them on that house. And y'all didn't help. And I said, so 
you know, I'm going to get the house built with or without y'all's help. And I did. Me and her did. She worked as hard as I did, man. You talking about fortunate to have a wife like that? Wow. She works hard. I've never even heard of you two. I don't even know if it had you two back in 93. Going the wrong way. I'm hoping this north, this low starts going to the east. If it keeps going to the north, it's going to get too warm here for snow. Oh, yeah. Let me grab a heat milk cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to take this out of here, I'm going to take a little 